Let's go. Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. <laughs> oh my life! <laughs> 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 Welcome, 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 welcome to the very first premiere, <laughs> premiere, premiere showing of this live Zoom meeting and we've got beautiful Wayne joining us, thank you Wayne. Paul couldn't make it tonight but he, se he sent his, be his next best um, character. Um, and I haven't got a name yet, would you like to give me a name Wayne? Because I was thinking about giving you a name as well. <laughs> oh, I don't want to suggest a name. <laughs> It's a family show. Okay. <laughs> I, love, I think you love Wayne's sense of humour. Well, um, I was going to ask you a question, Wayne. I mean, welcome to the channel. And uh, thank, you. thank you so much for nice being... Be. Yeah, thank you so much for being so courageous to be our very first premier subscriber. <laughs> and this is called Subscribers Views. I don't know if you knew that, but... Uh, we're going to take your views and the views of all our subscribers. So you are the number one subscriber starting this weekly experience. So... Nice. You, you know, we're going to break you in gently. Can you break me in gently as well? <laughs> but, and uh, we also have Adam with us. Adam's the cameraman, and uh, we've got thirty. Adam. Yeah, okay. We've got thirty minutes of uh, some time together. So, um, Great, what I wanted to do, if I may, um, Wayne, is um, would it be okay if I can give you a little nickname? Because would that be possible? I guess, yeah. <laughs> okay, I've got to try and I've got to try and work out a good nickname for you now. Out of interest, I know you like camera work. It's one of your hobbies. Yeah. Cameras, and you've got a second very passion about cameras as well as ball pythons and reptiles. Now, do you um, do you have a garden at all? I do. Yeah. And out of interest, do you um, do you ever spend any time in the garden? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you do you ever get any? Do you ever get your hands green, or is that more your wife's affair, or does, is it a combined family thing you do? Uh, yes, we do, do it together. I mean, I, I should say my, my father used to own a garden centre, so uh, I, I better say yes. I, I love the garden. Okay. Could I could I give you a name? I'm, I'm going to give you a name which I think might be fitting with your family heritage. Okay. Go for it. But uh, I have to do it with a picture first. If I can show you the picture, um, and Adam. Um, and this is going to be kind of interesting because Adam's going to put it on the camera. You're not going to see the picture, but you've got to guess your nickname, okay? You're not allowed to see the picture. Okay. So, Adam, can you zoom in on the picture so all the viewers know what you've got to try and guess? So, I'll, oh, give, you a, I'll give you a clue, okay? So, I'm going to give you a clue. It's not, it won't be as hard as you think. Um, okay. Okay, it, um, it has your family business uh, name in it from the garden centre. So think about yeah. what do you sell in a garden centre that people buy during Christmas and and uh, that is quite seasonal. Christmas trees, uh, wreaths, uh, holly. Uh... Do you know what? He's got it right. Spot on in one, Adam. So let's go back to Christmas trees. So what's another name for a Christmas tree? Uh, spruce or pine? Or Wait, yeah, first time. He's got it right first time. We must be brothers here. We're, we're totally on the same wavelength here. <laughs> so he's got, not only has he got um, the, 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 the right idea. Oh, so it's called Spruce Wayne. Uh, yeah! Uh, so we are. <laughs> that's a good one. So I, I haven't got a name yet, so I need some ideas from you of what you're going to call me. I mean, I don't mind it being <laughs> a little bit edgy, but not as long as it's not too rude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back to that one. Come back to me. I'll give you. You've got thirty minutes to let me know what you're going to call me. But um, the idea is, I'm going to. Paul couldn't make it tonight, so um, he always will send a character to have the, these little one to ones, just to brighten it up. Your, just to brighten up your day and brighten up everyone else's day. I've got a, a theatr theatrical wardrobe coming our way. Jared and I have ordered a whole bunch of gear, and uh, we're going to make the channel really spicy and fun. So. So that leads me on to my. Let me just leads me on to my first question, um, if I may call you. Um, would you like to see the picture of your possible logo? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to try and adjust this. Hopefully, you can see this. So, can you see a picture of a? a oh no. No. Left a bit. Left a bit. Left a bit. Right. Okay. 
Let me see if I can get it. Adam, you're good at this. I don't think so. Can you see a picture? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Have you got it? <laughs> so what do you, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, really <laughs> it, good, yeah. I must admit, I, I do prefer your Logan. But perhaps you can um, introduce yourself, um, Spruce, Wayne, and tell, <laughs> tell us a little bit about your what your background is and, and uh, introduce your, your, um, your logo to us and tell us a bit about your interests. And... Sure. So... Um... Yeah, uh, Wayne from uh, Phoenix Royals. Uh, I've been into reptiles now for about 18 years. Um, and really, it started off because uh, we moved to Northampton and there's a reptile shop that I used to drive past every week or every weekend when I was going into town to pick up various bits. And, and after about two months, I just stopped there one day and became really curious what they had there. And then found myself in there virtually every other weekend, sort of getting to a feel for it and uh, it kind of just grew from there I started in, rep, uh, in leopard geckos that grew into uh, Rachidactus chihuahuas so chihuahua geckos into crested geckos then into corn snakes wow. then uh, Brazilian and uh, Colombian rainbow boas and uh, yeah then I started uh, breeding more and um, uh, then going to shows and that sort of thing and I think it's the shows that really kind of helped ignite the passion really because um i think one of the things i found certainly was at the shows that, like doncaster and, and the, at the time there were other shows like um in basildon and, and norwich and places like that and it was great because the community's always been fantastic around this but when you get the opportunity to show off and, and sell some of your animals and actually have that face-to-face -face contact with people about your animals and see their passion and see their delight at kind of their animals especially if they've got children or if the children themselves are the ones buying it, that just, it just sends it to a different dimension in terms of just enjoyment and fun. And, you know, for me, there's two key things that are fun about this hobby is A, the variety you can get out of a simple pairing and the different colours and uh, pattern morphs you can get from that, but B, the joy you get from seeing the person who's going to buy one of your snakes and just talking to them and talking them through that whole, thing for me it's it's i've always loved breeding animals i've always done it from an early age i had uh, with my parents i had you know horses cats dogs chickens geese um since we've lived here um I've guinea pigs uh snakes uh, lizards all sorts um so it's always been a passion really so Wow, yeah, that's quite, that's, that's quite a menagerie you you've got there. You describe you, you're describing my home actually because we've got seven animals here. <laughs> it sounds like you, you it's home to home as far as I'm concerned. But I was going to ask you with that reptile centre that you went down, you were passionate about and you visited regularly. You said that there was a great pool there for you, and that sort of got your interest going. But I'm just going to ask you, it wasn't anything to do with this beautiful blonde sat behind the counter? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was he was a. Uh... Balding forty-three-year-old man, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, <laughs> um, but no. It, to be honest, it, they were a, a great team there at the time when I when I first started going there. And they, it, some of the team are still there, to be fair. Others have, have moved on to the, to other uh, roles, but but you know they were really passionate. And within sort of a couple of years, they recognised that I'd embedded myself so much and invested so much of my own time in leopard geckos that they kind of saw me as a bit of a kind of a go-to expert on the leopard gecko side. So if I was in the shop, which I was most weeks, um, and someone come in and ask about leopard geckos, they would often ask me to help the customer out, which is great. I mean, great for them because I was an unpaid member of staff. <laughs> really. but, but, but it was great for me and it was, it was really nice that they saw me as kind of someone who they could you know, uh, look to for, for advice on that sort of thing. So that was really good. So I yeah, oh. really enjoyed that. Oh, that's lovely. That deserves a little bit of music for that one. That's, that's proper fighting talk there. Let me just see what I can do to you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Have a little bit of music in the background there. So well done, Spruce Wayne, for showing us how it's done. <laughs> it's people. It's not about the money, the money, money. It's all about the people, the people, the people. Would you yeah, agree? For sure. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I mean, as I said, I think it's it's the passion that people have that just it just drives you and excites you. And you know, that's what I think is important about any hobby is that you've got a common interest that you can just talk to and agree about. You know, I I don't know everything there is to know about 
any reptile at all. I'm constantly learning. And, you know, ball pythons, I've only been in sort of for the last three or four years. And I'm constantly really learning that. I've had some great support from a lot of people like you. I watch a lot of the different um, channels. Obviously, I watch you guys. I watch uh, Rob Barraclough. I watch uh, Rich from Brunner WP. I watch Justin Kabilka. I watch... Um, you know, big, big favourite of uh, uh, Billy and the guys at Mutation Creation. I think they're brilliant. Um, and, and, you know, the guys like Gavin at Bulls too and, and other guys. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've known quite a few guys in the hobby who were in it at the start. And um, I remember going to shows where they were sort of talking about single like single jeans being £1,500 back in sort of 2004. You know, we're talking like Mojave and Lesser and then Lesser Mojave came and it was a... You know, it was about three thousand pounds or something at the time. I almost fainted when I heard that. I thought, I'll never get into that royal python game. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, it's interesting. We've only come on the scene recently, and we're picking up all these genes for hundreds of pounds. You guys were paying thousands back then. But the thing that really surprises me, there was one gene that came out because you were in this twenty years ago, and there wasn't a lot of them about. But I remember as a kid, I always wanted one, and I couldn't get it because it's outside my budget. But I, I hear that a pair of Levi jeans were going for about £20,000 back in those days, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they were. <laughs> me, yeah. <laughs> oh, that deserves a bit of music. <laughs> That's it, Wayne. Let, let your hair down. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, what I will say, Wayne, is that what I love about you, you've got a great sense of humour. And, uh, we love your band, and We love the way you feed. I've got to ask you the question. How did you find out about New Forest Morphs? What was the connection for you there? Um, I think I actually it was just one of my lazy Sundays when I was watching a few things on uh, YouTube, and obviously it comes up with like channels sort of thing on your on your home screen on the TV, and I just thought, oh, I'll, I'll see what these guys are about, and, and then I um, saw your Instagram and, and stuff like that, and, and actually, you know, I thought you had some great things to offer. I thought it's it's great to see and support another channel that's, you know, doing I think a great deal of work in educating um, and sharing experiences and for me you know I think you're very honest that you know you, you've not got all the experience on the sun but you're learning and you're sharing as you learn and I think that's fantastic and you know oh, I think you. it's yeah. you know, to be applauded so uh, oh thank you Wayne that's yeah. really very uh, heart touching that you said that because we are trying to be transparent and I'm actually having a fresh pair of father and sons on the scene without any preconceived ideas of the politics going on behind we're very innocent and pure on this and you're getting pure hobby interest and passion here you're not we're not caught up with any politics at all and we all say it as we see it and perhaps it can be controversial sometimes but you know sometimes you have to be controversial to get a good discussion going yeah for sure yeah. <laughs> sorry when we talk fight talk that will come on when we talk fight talk but that leads me beautifully on I, I was going to ask you the question what are your favourite YouTube channels but you've already given it to them and you know what we're, we're definitely brothers because what you've just described to me in terms of your favourite YouTube channels is exactly me as well so we are we are definitely yeah. either kindred spirits or we're connected somehow and uh, I'm feeling that vibe from you big time um, so let me ask you a couple more questions because time is flying by we've already had 10 minutes we're a third the way through this so, yeah. Having too much of a good time. Did you want to get yourself a drink at all? Are you, are you comfortable there? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I've got a drink over here, actually. So, yeah. Okay. Out of interest, what do you drink, Wayne? Are you a, are you a teetotaler or you do you like a little bit of... Uh, I don't mind uh, the odd glass of wine or, um, or occasional beer, but uh, to be honest, obviously most of the time I'm just drinking uh, small shots of uh, squash or decaf tea because I can't have caffeinated drinks. So. Okay. So, yeah. Is that yeah. mainly just to health, re health reasons or is that just a... It's, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's just... Um, just a health condition that um, gets flared up if I have caffeine. So okay, so. well I don't have any caffeine at all uh, as part of my faith, and uh, so we have to, as you as you notice, we have we have to get very high on a different kind of spirit, as I mean. and uh, <laughs> that clown spirit. You're doing well. Oh, thank you, thank you. Because <laughs> the other thing is, I was surprised how you found us because when you said that you were just having a nice Sunday afternoon browse. And then you discovered us that way, and then you connected on Jared's Instagram. And by the way, I must let everybody know that you've got a fantastic Instagram account. I went through and had a look at a few of your snakes. And I, oh, great, great stuff, yeah. Yeah, and I would love you to share one or two of your favourites in a second. But before we do that, I've just got to yeah, sure. interject my warped sense of humour a little bit. Because when you were, like, that Sunday afternoon while you found us, I wondered whether you typed in the search engine, like, something like a uh, crazy rock star named Freddy or something, and we suddenly came up. Um, it, 
it was something similar. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was actually looking for um, head trimmers at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we do like your banter, Wayne. We do like it, Spruce Wayne. There, Spruce Wayne, Spruce Wayne. Now then, now then, now then. Come on now, come on now. <laughs> right, may I ask you a couple of more questions, Wayne, if that's okay? Yeah, sure. I'll try, I'll try to make them as... Um, I'll try not to embarrass you as much as I can, okay? So, <laughs> let's have a look and see. So the other question I had for you was, what is your favourite jeans? In term, I'm not talking Levi's, I'm talking, you know what I'm talking about. In yeah, terms of, yeah, your, sure. did, did you want to show us one of your favourite snakes and talk about your favourite yeah. jeans? Yeah. Yeah, definitely, actually, yeah. So, one of my favourite jeans for sure um, is, well, basically, I, I love all the yellow based jeans really um, so banana albino i just think they are beautiful i think the combinations you can get are just stunning so i've got this little fella here i'm just gonna get out for you um, <laughs> hopefully you can see him okay oh beautiful so, so let me guess the jeans can i guess the jeans go for it so i'm gonna go banana yeah am i on the right track um, has he got much on his head? Has he got any pastel on him at all? Or I can't see his head. Uh, he, he is uh, pastel, yeah. Yeah, pastel banana. Uh, he's got lovely eyes. Absolutely gorgeous. What's his? Yeah. Has he got a name at all? Or, or do, you, do you name your snake? Yes, he's Samson. Sam Samson. Samson. Fantastic name. Uh, is he a real star? Is he, is he one of your studs? Or is he... Uh, well, he's too small at the moment, but I'm, I'm really, you know, fingers crossed next year he'll be uh, he'll be an absolute star for me. So, uh, yeah, he's um, a pasta, uh, sorry, banana pastel pinstripe clown. Whoa, so, awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. That is, did you breed that, did, you, did you produce that yourself, Wayne, or did you? No, no, no I, um, I brought him from a guy down in London, um, and just who has an absolutely superb collection, and, and like myself, he's a real really keen of, of the sort of yellow jeans but he also has a fantastic sort of green tree python collection and and also some very rare um sort of tr uh, tree uh, green tree python uh, very, uh morphs and stuff and they're just just stunning and uh so he's he's just into very high quality color morphs not not into pattern yeah. morphs so much so uh, yeah he's an absolute so, yeah. beauty i mean thanks wayne thank you so much for sharing him with us and he's a gorgeous what are your plans with him what are you going to do with him when he's ready. Um, so I've got, um, and I'm sort of investing in a few more at the moment, but I've got a few um, uh, clown females that I'm, I'm sort of uh, bringing up to size, obviously, over the next couple of years. Um, so he'll be going to a couple of clown females, but also a couple of, uh, I've got a couple of banana females that I also want him to go to. So I've got a banana, uh, banana, but a leopard female, because uh, I think that could be it's a great create some great heads. Absolutely. Um, yeah. and, and so, um, and also a banana pastel Mojave as well, which I think would be, should be a beautiful combination. So. I agree. I think the Mojave is an underestimated gene. I think it's a very very beautiful gene. It combines well with with those combos in yeah. my in my book. Um, in terms of the simple single genes, I, for me, Mojave is is just the best simple gene yeah. um, for me. And, I, and I love it I think if you can find a, a good pure Mojave I think they're beautiful and I think you know they're, they're a great foundation to have in any collection as well to be fair so. yeah well thank you for sharing that did you want to share any other snakes with us Wayne? yeah definitely definitely um, this one is a bit of a stub nail for this season so this one is Apollo and I noticed you've got an Apollo as well yay has he got a rocket so has, he, has he got a rocket like an Apollo or is he well well, <laughs> well endowed? <laughs> uh, he, he's a very he's proving to be very popular with the ladies. Um, he's gone to uh, two females straight away, locked with both. Beautiful. Um, very different uh, sort of coloration to him. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. On the back neck there and stuff. So. Yeah. What is um, um, sort of white stripe? And what's causing that? What's yeah. actually bringing that out? Do you know what's doing that? So, he is a GHI. Fire pastel Mojave. Pastel a uh, cinnamon. Yeah, so five G um, male. That is uh, a just... stud on a half. Stud on a half, man. That is a beauty. Look, he's kissing yeah. us as well. But Jared, Jared yeah. loves cinnamon and banana, so that's what we were we're going for as well because he, those two genes 
are fantastic. I think they go well together. Yeah. But yeah, what a star, dude. I mean, and what, and what are you yeah. going to put, what are you going to, how are you going to use him? What, what are you going to do with him? So he's gone to uh, pewter lesser female, so a cinnamon pastel uh, lesser female. Yeah. And he's also going to an Enchi lesser female. Um, and it's an Enchi lesser female I got from Ruth White at Infinite Mores, who, um, Ruth, I will say, give her a shout out because she helped me out massively when I first got back into this area and into Royals. And uh, actually, when I first had that snake from her, um, I had a few problems with her feeding um, and I just couldn't get her feeding right at all. But literally the night I, I took her back to, Ruth said, bring her back and I'll get her feeding and no problems or thing. And I took her back and literally that night she fed and I just felt so stupid. <laughs> you know, it, it, it happens and, and yeah. I then looked at, the only thing she was doing differently was that um, her racks were with the grey tubs. So it was a completely dark and closed and, and it just struck immediately. I thought, well, I've got, as you can see, the clear, clear tubs everywhere. And all I did is I put paper on the sides of the tub to darken it down and she struck straight away. Top tip, and guys, thought, top of tip. All the things, of all the things I tried, you know, I tried moving it around in the racks to try and find a, a slightly hot position, try a cooler position, tried more uh, humidity. And it was just, she just needed a darker space to feel more secure. Wow. So and she that obviously, was it. yeah. And, that's amazing. And she's now uh, about 1.7 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> really well in, in just over, right, in just two years. So. Yeah, well, well done. I'm glad you unlocked that one together. And it's, that's, that's the beauty of this hobby. You, you work with each other. And I haven't met Ruth, yeah. but she sounds really lovely. And she's is she based near you, or did you want to uh, share? She's based up in, yeah. based, based up in Leicester. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's infinite more. She's uh, brilliant. Um, I don't think she's... she's yeah, similar sort of size collection actually. I don't think she's massive, but she's very good, and um, you know she's also got a very good set of connections who will help her out and who fantastic. You know, she'll tap into for advice as well. So. See, I was thinking when you had that problem, I was thinking, I wonder what she was going to do for you, and I was thinking, I wonder whether <laughs> you're whether it was the aftershave that she you know didn't like, or whether it was the um, <laughs> Ruth's perfume no, or something. No. <laughs> Do you want me to show you another? Yes, please. Uh, it's yeah. another yellow snake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Adam. Adam's our cameraman, by the way. So thank you, Adam, for being a wonderful son. We've got eight minutes, by the way, Wayne. So we'll okay. we'll, we'll do another two snakes, and then we'll probably have to wrap up. But I mean, we're really enjoying this. <laughs> I wish we could do it longer. I'm going to have to get Adam to change the length of this camera. I'm sure our viewers would be happy to carry on with this. I'm enjoying this. I don't know if you can see the patination on this oh one. Oh my goodness me, that is an absolute stunner. Absolute stunner. Yeah, so it's an albino, uh, for sure. Yeah. It's probably got banana in that. Banana albino? No. Ah, let me think. It's a, it's a gene you wouldn't necessarily think would create this sort of yellowness, because it's normally associated as being a dark gene. It's not cinnamon, is it? No. Black pastel? It's yes. So albino black pastel pinstripe, which is what gives it then. So you get a sort of sort of a peachy. Band. It's almost like a clown, but very straight. But it's it's just a band down the dorsal stripe there um, of that sort of peachy colour, and then these subtle lighter bands outside of that edge, and then just a beautiful yellow. And I think she's. I've never seen anything quite like it. She's an absolute. And she has she given you a clutch yet or not? Uh, no, she's um, she's definitely putting on where you can see the the girth on her there. She's uh, increasing in girth now. She but, looks um, gorgeous and she's glowing. And I have to say, she's so beautiful, Wayne, that I'm going to have to give you a bit of music for that one. <laughs> Thank you very much. And what's her name? Uh, she's Star. Star. She, si she simply is a superstar, that one. So yeah. please, would you do us a favour? If you do get a clutch... Um, do send us some uh, pictures and things because oh, I'm, really I'm sure we'd love to um, we'd love to share that with all our viewers and, and uh, an absolute stunner. Jared will be his jaw will be hitting the floor when he sees this. <laughs> okay, I think we've got so, time for. Do you want to, should we go dark this time? Let's go dark. Let's do one dark and then I think we've got time for probably about five minutes. Adam, have we? Yeah, we've got five more minutes. So now this is another. This is a stud male 
um, who's gone to a couple of ladies. And again, he's had absolutely no problems with locking. It's his first season. Uh, this one came from Paul at Urban Constrictors. Yeah. Um, and he was his original, original smiley snake. Now, if I can try and get his head, look at the head stab, you'll see a smiley head. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That is Literally, very... Uh, Two, two eyes and a, and, a smart, and a smiley mouth. So so this guy is a um, leopard pastel fire het clown boy. Gorgeous. And, uh, I've got a feeling he's going to do some business for you this year, is he? Is he doing anything for you? Yeah. Yeah, so he's gone to um, a lesser yellow belly clown girl and also to... Who else has he gone to? Oh, yes. My... A girl, Chili, who's a lesser firefly. So, um, and she was my um, girl who laid a clutch for me last year in her third season and did wonderfully well. Got five, well, got six eggs, but one went bad. Um, and I was just, I think I said on one of your, um, you, you know, one of your YouTube clips, when I tried to use the athlete's foot powder to recover it and to protect it from mold. Yes. Um, I made the mistake of only doing it once and only applying it once. What I should have done is gone back and done a repeat treatment or two yeah. um, and just watched that more. But I just, I just thought you only had to do one at a time. So it was my, my mistake. But, um, you know I, know, I know now for next time. So Absolutely. Now, what's interesting, Wayne, because we're enjoying ourselves so much. And I just wanted to ask you whether you'd be happy to do a part two. Because if you wanted to do yeah, a, are you happy to do a part two? Because... Adam, yeah, are you happy to stay with us for a part two, Adam? I know you're being, you're being ever so diligent, but um, if, if that's okay, because what we could do is we've got... How many minutes have we got, Adam? Uh, four more, or we've, three more. We've got three more minutes. So what I was thinking we could do is we'll call this end of part one and then we'll launch into part two. That means you've got more time to share your snakes with us. And, um, okay, great. and then we can leave it up to the viewers. If they enjoyed part one, they've got the part two. So if you're happy, I'm, I'm happy. I'm enjoying this. And I, I don't... Yeah, I, I always hate... Um, having to fight against time because it doesn't really give the chance to really enjoy each other. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we've got a couple of minutes, so we'll come back to some more snakes in part two. Let me just say thank sure. you very much for sharing your collection with us so far. We're well, thank you for inviting yeah. me, sir. It's been yeah. lovely. We're really enjoying this, and we're going to go into part two shortly. But before we do that, did you want to... I don't obviously your information is very private but did you want to let people know where you're based or are you happy just to give them your um, Instagram account at the end of the part yeah so it's just Phoenix Royals UK on Instagram and on North Market um, and, our, and on Facebook as well um, but I'm based in Northampton um, you know five minutes off from the M1 really um, so it's we're fairly easy to find but um, yeah uh, been here for 15 years now so uh, wow my sister, my sister Angela, used to live in Northampton. Northampton, so we know it reasonably well. So we'll have to pop out. When lockdown's over, I'd love to take her out for a meal. Yes, yeah. and we have a. That'd be a, great to have see a, you. Yeah, That's have a drink fair. together and really come and see your collection if you if that would be permissible. Maybe we could yeah, do a, a a proper close up film at your if you're happy for us to film in your facility. Then we'd be yeah, more. Of course, yeah. We'd <laughs> love to. Yeah. And maybe we can show a little bit of it, but I mean, it's, it's yeah. not really. <laughs> I, think, this is it. I think it's lovely and I'm glad that you've got yourself um we need uh, we do need us reptile keepers we do need some space to enjoy this hobby and it's it's yeah, it's sure. refuge from a busy day and it's yeah. that special time with us and the snakes and family that want to get involved is lovely too so Adam's going to tell me we've got a minute to go so we're going to have to close out with a little bit of music and then part two just to give everyone a, a taste of what we're going to discuss in part two I'm going to ask you your favorite projects continuing more snakes because I think people love snakes, and I'm going to ask you what the hot topics are of the um, of this current year. What, what are we currently talk about in the community? What's hot out there? If you've got any ideas and thoughts, and then we will close down with a bit of fun banter. And just want to say thank you so much, Wayne, for joining us for part one. And you can stay on. Jack Adam's going to have to cut off the camera, and then we'll reconnect with you. Okay. But stay with us. Um, the camera's yes, just about no to go off now, so. Thank you very much, everyone, and join us for part two.